talking to Dr. Calvin Atchison, uh, a, a longtime uh, administrator at Tennessee State University, and he's given us some information in reference to notable events and personalities associated with uh, Tennessee State University. Dr. Atchison, let's see if we can uh, pick up during this last segment to give you an opportunity to talk about, uh, an additional opportunity to talk about uh, notable events or personalities that you think that our audience ought to uh, be familiar with. Well, one thing I can say about Tennessee State, when I came, it was Tennessee A&I. I mm -hmm. saw so much happen mm -hmm. in so many persons who played important roles. Mm -hmm. Now, this was an institution that afforded opportunity for growth, not only for students, mm -hmm. but faculty members who wanted to get involved, had an opportunity to learn because it was an evolving institution. Mm -hmm. It was a very interesting and dynamic period in which to work. There was strong persons there whom uh, one could work with, like Dr. Thomas Pogue, mm -hmm. Miss Avery, mm -hmm. I don't know if you yeah, heard of Miss Avery. Miss mm -hmm. Avery was there, and just the presence of those people mm -hmm would inspire a younger person mm -hmm. to, you know, if, if I'm on a committee with you, mm -hmm. I'm willing to do the work just to have you there. Mm -hmm. And I took advantage of that and, and uh, had an opportunity to work with students mm -hmm. and faculty. Mm -hmm. There, whenever there was an opportunity to get the university involved in community activities, I did that. You made reference to the building that was named for me. Mm -hmm. I have to give Tennessee State University mm -hmm. credit for it. Explain that, that building. Well, this was during the Civil Rights Movement, mm -hmm. how I first got involved. Mm -hmm. I was serving on the Briley, I believe, or one of, one of those uh, mayors. Mm -hmm. And uh, they formed the Human Rights Commission. They wanted someone from Tennessee State University on that committee, and they sent me. Mm -hmm. So I, I stayed on the civil, on the uh, Human Relations Committee, and finally chaired the Human Relations mm -hmm. Committee. Mm -hmm. The mayor wanted to move me from Human Relations to Housing Authority, MDHA. Mm -hmm. I was with them for 19 years. Mm -hmm. After that, the mayor wanted to move me to the Metropolitan Action Commission, mm -hmm. which I serve on now. So I have served on committees and commissions mm -hmm. because I represented Tennessee State mm -hmm. for a number of years. Mm -hmm. We even had what we call the Urban Observatory once. Mm -hmm. The Urban Observatory was a consortium with uh, Tennessee State University, this. Vanderbilt and Peabody. This was an effort the mayor wanted the city to become involved more in higher education, and I was always the representative. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't mind that because it was growth for me, mm -hmm. and the number of contacts I had. Mm -hmm. I had opportunity to leave Tennessee State University because of mm -hmm. offers other places, and once I almost left from Dr. Davis, Mm. Stop me. Came and got you. <laughs> why, why don't you explain that? <laughs> I went to Moe House for an interview. Dr. William Mays mm -hmm. interviewed me. Right, okay. <laughs> and while I was there, he, he interviewed me for the job. And he told me, he said, can you stick around until the afternoon? I want to talk with some people, and I want you to come back and talk with me again this afternoon. Mm. So I went back and talked with him. He said, I'll offer you department head. But uh, he said, now one thing, we don't steal faculty members from other institutions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call Dr. Davis and let him know what we've offered to mm -hmm. So he did. Mm -hmm. You know what Dr. Davis did? <laughs> he called my wife. <laughs> <laughs> he called my wife and she talked with, didn't even talk with me. Mm -hmm. Call your wife. Call her and <laughs> talk with her a long time to find out if she and she told him she wasn't going because uh -huh. she was in school. Mm -hmm. She said, well, I'm not going. I'm going to stay here. Mm -hmm. So the next day, he saw me in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me, he said, uh, 
Well, you know, uh, I got an opportunity to increase your salary. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, I'm putting your wife on the payroll also. <laughs> I said, well, Dr. Davis, she's a student. She will be an assistant in the psychology <laughs> department, he said. So what happened to me, I just said, I tell you, Dr. Epps, mm -hmm. you remember yeah, him? Yeah, I remember. Uh -huh. Mr. Epps, he told me, he said, you better not leave these people you know. Mm -hmm. And I was ready to go to Mo House. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dr. Davis approached me, and when he talked with me and told me what he was doing, mm -hmm. I found out, I said, well, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to leave. Mm -hmm. So I remained at TSU. We started drawing a lot of students mm -hmm. in the department. And uh, I went to Washington and got a grant mm -hmm. for graduate students to have a program in psychological services. Mm -hmm. And st our students began to go into different areas and mm -hmm. serve. I remember I sent one to uh, someplace in Maryland, a mm -hmm. state mm -hmm. hospital, something like that. Mm -hmm. And he's here in the town mm -hmm. in Nashville now. Mm -hmm. Our students began to go all over the country, and they were well known as students who finished psychology right, yes, at Tennessee State, State mm -hmm. are strong Maybe students. Mm -hmm. They went to graduate school. One of my students said to me one day, she met me in Washington, mm -hmm. was a former student. She said, I went to Harvard and I got my master's degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found I was taking a course mm -hmm. that you had taught that same subject matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, when I went to class and I was taking a test, my professor said, uh, where did you go to school? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I told him, Tennessee, Tennessee A&I. Mm -hmm. Said the only things they have never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. she said, I got a B out of your course, but I got an A yeah, at Harvard. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was that kind of thing that uh, inspired teachers to work mm -hmm. because students were really interested mm -hmm. in learning. We came to work at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Even if we didn't have a class until 1, mm -hmm. we were at work. We were there for our students. Mm -hmm. 8 o'clock until 4 o'clock, it was like a job. Mm -hmm. Now, if the job was not done at 4 o'clock, what did we do? Mm -hmm. We finished the job. Mm -hmm. The hour didn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the kind of experience mm -hmm. that I had. Now, we've got about two minutes, Dr. Eskin. Say something about uh, President Davis. I mean, what, I mean, he, he, he was, his, what, his athletic programs in two minutes. Say. Well, uh, uh, well, Dr. Davis had a, had a way of working with the one that would get the best out of him. And they didn't, you know, you, you didn't mind the way he worked. And, uh, he liked to deal with you when it was something personal like that he wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. He didn't want you in his office. Mm -hmm. The office was kind of too, too formal. Mm -hmm. He would talk with you out in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. He liked to talk with you in his home. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, I don't know how he learned so mm -hmm. much about his faculty mm -hmm. and students. I, I, well, I do know. I recall I was teaching statistics to uh, graduate students, mm -hmm. a course that a lot of students didn't like. Mm -hmm. And uh, he learned that there were some teachers from mm -hmm. the state, Middle Tennessee, mm -hmm. West Tennessee, and uh, he was very close to them. And he would find out something about the teachers to these students. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he called me one day. and expressed appreciation mm -hmm. for the way I had been working mm -hmm. with some of those principals. He mm -hmm. said, now, you know, they, they want to get that degree. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much they're going to need that mm -hmm. statistic, they're not going mm -hmm. any further. And he s expressed appreciation the way the patience mm -hmm. that I had in working mm -hmm. with them. He was just, uh, and over the last 30 yeah. seconds that we have here, yeah. uh, Dr. Essen, he was just an extraordinary president and, and, oh, yeah. and with a lot of vision. That's what yeah. I've heard yeah. about him, with a lot of vision and ability to get people, as you're indicating right here, to yeah. uh, do a lot of things. Well, know. he always talked mm -hmm. about uh, 
for years to come. Mm -hmm. We're doing this now because of the years to come. Yeah. Well, have. Okay, mm -hmm. and Dr. Ashton, that's, that's about all the time that we have for today. But I want to thank you for coming by and giving us this excellent information. And let me encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Congress. Thank you and good morning.